Greetings YouTube! Welcome back to the channel. I realized something kind of first world problem-ish this week. I have a bunch of energy refills that are expiring. I've already 100% explored all event quest uh, difficulties. Now I do spend some energy getting my tier 3 basic and class catalyst stash up. I go through the apothecary, get that free level 1 revive. I've already done all that for the day. And so, I figure, let me just jump into Act 6. I have so many paths of Act 6, I just never did because like Labyrinth of Legends and even the Abyss of Legends, I just didn't think it was worth it. And maybe it isn't still. And I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't have what I'm about to show you. Because check this out. In less than 24 hours of the time of recording this video, I have all of these energy refills that are about to expire. It's crazy because these came from the four hour crystals that I went bankrupt on before spending 10,000 plus units after those on Necropolis exploration again. Don't be me, be better than me. But about 700 of those Necropolis deaths were uh, from this account. And yes, if I wasn't a YouTuber, I wouldn't have the units and the revives to burn. But there are much better people out there that aren't YouTubers that didn't take 700 revives and 20,000 units. With that being said, I don't have to worry about Unit Man in this because this feels like the difficulty of maybe, at worst, the Cavalier event quest difficulty, but really, it kind of feels like uncollected difficulty, which is crazy because Act 6 used to be so hard that it was just infuriating. And now, it's just relaxing. And even with Medusa, look at how much damage I'm doing just from a parry heavy. I mean, it's it's almost cathartic. And so, I'm not saying I'm going to explore Act 6, but if I've got energy refills that are expiring and I know I'm going to need zero items to easily clear these paths, why not? I mean, you can see, it's hilarious. It's so easy, it's just like, wow. Now, I uh, did explore all the remaining Valiant, or excuse me, Variant content, not to be confused with the Valiant title. And Variant number one was the original and was kind of like Act 6, and a lot of ways harder than the ones after, just like Act 7 and even Act 8 in so many ways were way more enjoyable, way less paths. Um, rewarded you for things like relics, but this is going back to a time before relics existed, before seven stars existed, before a lot of the best six stars existed. This is really content that when it came out, people were doing with, if they were lucky, rank four or five stars. Back when four star gates and bands actually meant something. Now people look at those and just laugh and think, why? You're just hurting players that are starting out nobody else but I'm just casually talking to you and it feels like I'm doing a really easy version of an event quest or a side quest like maybe threat level three ish and I'm not complaining and yes Hercules makes so much content so much easier and yes the rewards are hilariously outdated but there's something cathartic about Facing what used to be your fears, and now your fears have turned into a joke. And I know that some of the OGs say, Prof, stop encouraging the nerfing of older content. These kids these days, they're too soft. They're a bunch of snowflakes. They need to fight the fights that I fought with the energy per tile that I fought. I disagree. Because this game is dying. Maybe not all at once, although hello, unblockable. Um, but the community is not growing the way it was several years ago. Look at that damage. That's so hilarious. <laughs> um, so if you have somebody that starts out, downloads this game, sees Alliance Quest, Alliance War, Incursions, Battlegrounds, the Arena, Side Quest, Variant Quest, Practice Mode, the list goes on and on. It's very difficult to imagine a world where you're not 
overwhelmed. By the way, check out the bleed damage of Morningstar. Not really taking off any health. With willpower, in fact, it uh, is healing me a bit. Even the degen damage is doing almost no damage, so I can get the benefits of all the stacked furies without having to worry about degening, which used to be the opposite, where I would be using four stars, maybe five stars. Don't want this, don't need this. Uh, and then just doing my best to time a heavy to reset those furies and not cause a degen after, what, about nine furies? Now, bring on the degen. Now you've got a boss with Omega Red, 50,000 PI. I can't say this enough. This used to be 10 times the attacker rating. You'd have a 5,000 overall 5-star fighting a 50,000 overall 6-star, and it would be stressful. Now it's just hilarious. And I'm not saying every path of Act 6 is this easy, but given that I haven't... Uh, explored so many of the paths it's just fun it's fun and it's relaxing and it makes me feel like I've come so far with my roster and yes it's thanks to YouTube it's thanks to you all but at least you know that I uh, I'm putting a lot of that money back into the game and I'm also doing my best to promote a better path forward for so many people who have struggled in the past with content like Act 6 I'm not saying the rewards are worth it. Again, if I didn't have all these expiring energy refills, I wouldn't be doing this right now. But I'm glad, I'm glad I am. It's fun. It's easy. It's relaxing. It's the opposite of what I remember Act 6 to be. And uh, variant number one was largely the same. Now, there were still some BS notes. Stuff that I was like, if you're doing this to my rank 2 7 star, man, what would you be doing against a, a rank 2 5 star? But rest assured... It's, it's been an adventure. So I wanted to post this video, show off the easy gameplay. By the way, I'm not even boosted, right? I don't even have any like 10% attack boost. Don't need them because it's just that easy to melt defenders without them. And I don't know how many paths I'm going to get through. I might do another 10 paths just because it's so relaxing and fun. But at the same time, if you're somebody who wants to just explore it to explore it, jump in. And if you don't have Hercules, that's fine. Any uh, high-ranking six-star will work, but obviously Hercules turns the game into easy mode. So, that's it is what it is. Hulk, Cap Infinity War, and then the Restoration Kit Synergy, because I am using full recoil masteries as usual. Uh, this is my preferred event quest team. It has not failed me yet, so if it's not broken, don't fix it. Act 6, fun, easy, relaxing, wow, who would think?